Well, hi guys. Uh, here's another little haul video. Today I went to two different Savers and uh, Goodwill. And I haven't been to the Goodwill or one of the Savers for a really long time. So um, I found a lot of really cool things. So we'll go through a description here. We'll start over here. Um, this is a green Pyrex mixing bowl from the primary color set and it's really kind of faded um, not in the best of shape but it was only $1.99 and that is the two and a half quart green mixing bowl from the primary color set I found these really cool um, vintage 1960s hazel atlas Let's see if I can get it in here so we can see it more clearly. Uh, Christmas glasses with like a holly and a bell theme. Really pretty. Uh, Hazel Atlas, a set of four. They were 99 cents each. Uh, I could probably sell a set for close to 20. Um, the find of the day, I would say. Well, I found a few finds of the day, but this one is an 11 inch Franciscan Desert Rose either a divided relish dish or a grill plate, I suppose, uh, from the 1950s. Um, I've never seen one before. It's in pristine condition. Uh, it's got the uh, American back stamp made in the USA logo on it. Um, just beautiful. Uh, and uh, I guess it was a day for Franciscan because then I found this sugar bowl at Goodwill. I think it was like a dollar ninety-nine, something ridiculous. It's probably could be sold for forty. Uh, now the funny thing is, I had another one that I'd gotten a while ago, um, and when I got home, I realized it had a big crack in it. But the lid was in pristine condition. Well, this one that I got. The lid had a chip once I unwrapped it, but the bowl itself was in pristine condition. So I took the lid from the other bowl, which is perfect, and put it with this bowl, which is perfect. While we're on a roll, that was at Goodwill. Now then at Savers, I found this whole set of Franciscan apple. Butter dish. Never seen one before. It doesn't have the lid, but just the the plate alone without the lid is selling on replacements for like 45 bucks um, again it's got the uh, um, made in America uh, stamp on it made in USA uh, we've got now I thought I was getting a bunch of cups and saucers when I got home and I actually looked at what I had I only had one saucer and I had four of the bread and butter plates. Um, still pretty nice. I've got a bunch of cups and saucers already so I can put together a little collection. Just notice this one has like a little chip on it but I've got backups anyway and I've got one that I've been using myself that I'll probably trade this one out with. So we've got one, two, five cups, one saucer, four bread and butter, the quarter pound um, butter dish and the sugar bowl with lid pretty good I think all together I might have paid ten dollars for all four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen pieces okay on a roll here um, Jeanette Amberina candy dish footed I've had one of these before I sold it. I have one in my shop that's in the ruby red for sale right now. It's in a grape and a grape leaf pattern. Really quite pretty. The amberine is in perfect condition. Uh, really no loss at all anywhere. That maybe a couple little things on the bottom, but basically like new condition. Found this Fire King Anchor Hawking Peach Luster one and a half quart casserole with lid in great condition and that was from the based on the back stamp it's from the 1960s um, 
the Jeanette Glass candy dishes from the 1950s. The Franciscan grill plate is from the 1950s. And I'm assuming that the apple is could be from the 50s as well. Um, then we found a 1970s Pyrex Butterfly Gold one and a half pint um, mixing bowl in just pristine condition. And last but not least, this charming little uh, September Joseph Originals uh, figurine. And it still has the September stamp on here, which was just a label, so it could have easily been lost. No chips, no cracks, and it has the Joseph's original saying. It still has all the original stickers on it. Quite lovely condition. Um, I've got my May Angel up there that my grandma had uh, when I was a kid, and I think that's uh, a Nesco. I'm not sure. I've got a little Virgin Mary and Child there, and some Easter eggs, and some um, Fenton. Um, our class, probably um, stretch glass bowls that I picked up recently, but they weren't part of today's haul. We've got our old vintage radio over there, and we're listening to some uh, vintage department store music. So, not all in all, I'm really happy with the haul today. Uh, so, all together. Between the three stores, I spent about $41. The grow plate alone will probably cover the cost, or the sugar bowl, or even this little kind of seemingly nondescript uh, butter dish. But uh, all in all, quite happy with what I've got. Uh, it'll be listed on my store shortly. That's Vintage Thrift Guy on Etsy. And I'd like to say hi to Michelle, to Scott, and to all of you out there. Happy thrifting. Happy spring. We'll talk to you soon.